Hello and welcome to today's video. Happy fall. Today should be the first official day of fall if this video is going up on time. But yeah, I wanted to sit down and show you my 15 for fall. I've been seeing so many eyeshadow palette videos, like 10 eyeshadow palettes for fall, and I feel like I was like waiting to do this video, but I but I really like this video idea, so I wanted to do this instead of just pumping out like a 10 eyeshadow video. Plus, not to mention, when I thought about the 10 eyeshadows that I would feature, I felt like I was seeing them over and over in everybody else's videos, so I'm trying to give you a little something different with this one. And as I'm looking down, I know I should also note that some of these items are pretty new to me, so some of these 15 for fall items are things that I'm excited to try out and use for fall, even though I don't quite know how I feel about them yet. But yeah, some of these are new, and some of these are definitely not new, and they are favorites, and I will show them to you. So why don't we get started? Now, I do have a couple non-makeup items. I have two nail polishes here. The first one, this one is a favorite. This is one of my favorite nail polishes in, in my entire nail polish collection. This is Green as Gold from H&M, and it's this beautiful, like, green, gold, blue kind of sometimes shifting like tri duochrome kind of situation again this is from h&m and their nail polishes are pretty affordable i believe they'll probably retail around five dollars i don't quite remember what i paid for them in sweden versus what they charge for them in the u.s but they're somewhere in that price range which is very affordable in my opinion not to mention that i really like the formula now i should state that i don't really know much about nails but I don't have a problem with this. It lasts about as long as any of my other nail polishes last, and not to mention that it's absolutely stunning. Okay, and the next nail polish thing that I wanted to mention is this duo that I just recently picked up from Sephora from Nails Inc. This is the Girl King Duo, and as you can see, it's got this beautiful deep gold, and then this kind of iridescent mauvey pink kind of sheer or iridescent shade. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to have this for fall. I think it's gonna be stunning, especially kind of deeper into fall. But yeah, I'm so excited to get this on my nails. I'm probably am gonna try it out closer to the end of, of September. Okay, as we move on into makeup, I have one face product and then like four lipsticks, but I'll go show you this face product first. This is the Fenty Cream Blush in Fuego Flush. This is that orange shade. Oh my God, it's stunning. I am not wearing it today, but I did try it out recently in a video that I can link in the cards for you to see how it performed, but I was not disappointed at all. It is definitely a light buildable formula blush. Let's see if I can give you a little swatch but I think it's so stunning and it's actually really flattering. Like the orange shade is not to intimidate you because it's definitely wearable in my opinion. And I just, I love that shiny finish and I'm so pumped to have this for fall that I, I, I'm like having to tell myself to make sure I'm wearing my Project Pan blushes instead because honestly, I could probably wear this every day in fall and not be disappointed. Okay, let's talk about the four lipsticks next. I think I'm gonna go with my least favorite even though I really like it. I am just not as big of a formula fan for like liquid lip lipsticks, but this is the shade Rubina from Stila. And I do have to say that, that regardless of me not loving liquid lipsticks, that this one is just kind of really cool and extremely fall appropriate. It has this kind of almost like a very warm undertone to it, like it almost has a little bit of orange in it, but it also uh, on some times when you have it on your lips, it looks like it has a little bit of that berry tone on it, but it's also just this like really sophisticated deep red burgundy lip and I just think it's super flattering for fall and this is always one that I get really excited to wear at least one or two times I try to wear it multiple times but to be honest I have trouble I have too many lipsticks so I have trouble pumping through them all but this is definitely probably my favorite deep lip in my collection and I certainly can't fault the formula for Stila because I do like their formula but yeah this is just a, such a beautiful deep grungy like deep vampy lip how many times can I say the word deep Okay, the next one is also a favorite. This is from L'Oreal in the shade Matley in Love, and it is a bullet, kind of mostly orange, but it has a little, it will pull a little red on your lips, but such a beautiful, I love that it's a matte, like, finish. It's so beautiful. This is one that I constantly wear during fall. I love pairing it with, like, a little graphic tee with a little orange on it, and, like, this bright orangey red lip. So beautiful, so beautiful. I cannot not mention this one. And then the next one's gonna look a lot like that one, but this one has more of a yellow-red undertone to it. This is Cruella lipstick from ColourPop, and again, I think more than anything, I don't know if this lipstick is available anymore, but if you have a, something like this in your collection, you definitely need to pull it out for fall, I'm telling you. It looks, especially when you swatch these two next to each other, this one looks more true red, but I promise you on your lips, it, has, it pulls very kind of orangey red, and it's so stunning and beautiful, and I just love these kind of shades for fall. 
Okay, and the last lip to mention is probably my favorite. This is a brown lipstick, and again, you don't have to wear this brown, but this just happens to be the favorite brown that I have in my collection. But if you're not wearing a fall, like a brown lip, uh, what are you doing with your life? I love brown lipstick in the fall, love it. It's like my, probably my favorite lip color to wear in the fall. It's so beautiful, so stunning, looks so sophisticated. And maybe maybe it's just that I'm a 90s gal at heart, but I don't know, I, I am such a sucker for brown lips that it's insane. Now that brown lip ties into my next product. This item is one that I like to wear with that brown lipstick. Sometimes I like to just keep my makeup pretty simple, make sure I look nice and like bronzed, throw on a little bronzer in my crease and then give myself a wing with this with a brown liner. Now it doesn't have to be this brown liner. This one is um, Extreme Coffee from NYX and this one has like a metallic finish, but I actually kind of like it. I think it looks kind of cool. But again, I just kind of want to highlight brown liners can be so kind of cool and sophisticated too in the fall and they especially pair well with brown lips. So if you haven't tried that combo, definitely try it. And if you do, let me know what you think. Okay, now I do have six eyeshadow palettes to show you, but I do have one single shadow from ColourPop. This is a super shock in the shade Moonwalk. You probably heard me talk about this recently quite a bit in a couple different other videos, but this is just a beautiful red-based duochrome that that flips to green and I will show you swatched again. I'm not sure again how well it comes off on camera, but let me tell you on your eyes, especially when you lay down a little bit of a grungy green base to it. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. And if you're interested in seeing this reform, I also think that the same get ready with me that I linked in the like cards should that featured the Fenty cream blush should also also feature this. So make sure you check that out if you want to see these both be featured in that. Okay, and like I said, I have six eyeshadow palettes to show you. I'm gonna start out with the ones that I are that are newer to me. I have two that are new to me. One of them I've only used once at this point, and again, it was also in that same first impressions get ready with me that is linked. This is my Profusion Emeralds palette, and it's such a beautiful green palette. I mostly bought this palette for these grungy green tones, and I have to say, after using it just once, I know it's just once, but my first impression for this palette was that it was great if you're really looking for those grungy green tones, not to mention that it's $5, that's it. And then the uh, shimmers in this palette weren't bad, they just weren't, you know, as high quality as maybe like an Anastasia palette, but I'm also well aware that this palette's only $5 and you can't expect that maybe for that price. But I had been having such an itch for greens to back in my life because my Morphe 35 Emboss Mood palette that has some nice grungy greens in it is in storage at home because it's so large. And I picked this up recently and I am not disappointed. If you're needing some grungy green tones in your life, check this out because it's definitely worth the $5 price tag. Now the other new palette to myself that I'm so excited because I just think it's so beautiful and fall appropriate is the Juvia's Place Nomad palette and this is what it looks like close up. Now hopefully you can see this. It's got such beautiful like mustardy yellow tones. It's got a nice kind of green that's good for deepening. Another kind of mustardy green. This orange and then not to mention that this, this shimmer here is stunning. I'll also swatch it for you just because you got to see it. For yourself it's so beautiful so i probably swatched it in the worst place ever but it's right there so beautiful it's it's really is such a smart if they're not going to do that many like metallics in here it is the perfect metallic to go in this like color scheme so i have to say that this is a really beautiful stunning fall appropriate palette and even though i haven't used it yet i have not been disappointed with juvia's formula in the past so i'm really excited to reach for this in the fall okay now these next two eyeshadow palettes are ones that are not, like when I look at the numbers of uses in my collection, they don't get a ton of use from me, but that's also because they are ten, they tend to be fall palettes for me. So the first one here is my main squeeze palette from ColourPop, always have trouble getting it open, but there it is. Beautiful red tone palette, and again, if I don't, I love reds in the fall, not to mention that football season is around and I love to wear this on a Georgia game day, but even if you aren't a Georgia fan, you can wear reds in fall and they look amazing. So if you haven't checked out this palette for solid red tone. Now I will say I do like the 3502 from Morphe just a little bit better for reds because those maybe I, maybe those were just the first reds that really caught my heart and they have a special sentimental place. These will run a little bit pink in undertone if you don't like kind of put more of an orangey base on under them if you want them to be a little bit not so pinky in undertone. You have to kind of play with the undertone a little bit putting down like a base color first, but I can get these to do what I want them to do. They're great quality, so if you're looking for some reds that 
lean, can lean a little bit pink, this is the palette for you. And next up is my Saharan by Juvia's Place, and this is such a beautiful ball palette. Again, it's kind of got these warm orangey tones, this beautiful like green shade up here, greeny gold, and then bronzes and bronzes, like these two bronzes have different undertones to them, really solid ball palette all around. So if I didn't mention this here, I don't, I don't know what I would be doing with my life. Okay, these last two palettes I know that I really enjoy. The first one is Subculture. I cannot not mention this palette. This is the perfect fall color palette. And even though you've probably seen people talk about this palette like crazy in those videos, I have to mention it again because it's honestly my favorite fall color story ever. And I'm just, even if I don't end up using this palette some days, I will open it up just to get inspired and sit down on another palette and play because this one just is fall and it's so beautiful and sophisticated looking and it makes me feel fancy just looking at it. And the last palette that I'm gonna mention here is my Soft Glam from Anastasia. Also a very appropriate warm to neutral color palette kind of thing. And it also has some mauves in it, which at the towards the end of fall, I really start leaning towards those mauve shades a lot more. And so this one has a little bit of everything, but most of all, this one is a nice palette to get soft glam looks for. So anytime that I want to wear these like beautiful statement lips, this probably is the palette that I'm going to reach for because it's going to give me soft looks that help my statement lip stand out. And that's the purpose of a statement lip, is it not? So yeah, I had to mention more of a subtle palette because when I want to rock those really bright statement lips, then I absolutely kind of tone down my eyes just a little bit to let those lips stand out. And I believe that's everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you would have put anything else in this 15 for fall. And make sure you say hello, and I will see you in the next one.